What's up everybody, I'm B True, and today I'm going to bring you a little League of Legends action. Now, uh, they have released the One for All Mirror Mode uh, for, uh, for a short time. This is where, when you're playing League of Legends, you play on the Howling Abyss, which is a one-laned map, and you all vote on a champion, and this champion gets picked, and then everybody on both teams has to play as this champion. Now, as you can see, this is the dreaded... Uh, the match that everybody hates, but it's inevitable that you will play if you play this mode, and that is 10 Teemos all going up against each other. Uh, and I did not vote for this. I never wanted this. I don't know who voted for this, but this is terrible. It's, uh, it's just such a pain having to fight, you know, five of my, of everybody's basically most hated character and after everybody hits level 6, I mean, there are mushrooms everywhere, and you can't even push up because there's just so many shrooms everywhere doing damage, and you gotta waste money buying oracles to see the shrooms, and then you gotta spend all that time trying to kill them, and it's just such a pain. And between that and then the blinding effect uh, that Teemo has and how you can be invisible, it, it's just a huge pain in the ass. It's not a very enjoyable game whatsoever. I didn't enjoy this game, uh, but I figured I would bring it to you guys because I mean this is this is what you gotta you gotta deal with basically if you're gonna play this match. Uh, but this mode is a lot of fun. I do have a lot of fun with this mode um, mainly because, like I said, everyone is the same champion, so it kind of takes out uh, the whole you know team composition part of it, and it's it's mainly entirely uh, skill and teamwork. I mean that is what this mode is entirely focused around and it's meant to be more fun uh, than competitive. Now like I said this mode is only going to be open for uh, it's only like two weeks I think maybe uh, it should be closing down pretty soon here I do have a couple games of this I want to show you guys just to kind of give you guys a little bit of uh, so just a little view of, of how you play and what's going on with it here um, I haven't been able to get any games with particularly fun champions. Um, I did have a game with a Lee Sin, but I wasn't recording. Uh, that was actually a lot of fun because, um, uh, you know, everyone's kind of flying around, doing flying kicks in the air, teleporting back to their own people, and, and all you see is just people just flying through the air, and it's, it's ridiculous. Um, but like I said, this game mode can be a lot of fun if you get the right champion. Some champions that uh, you wouldn't expect actually end up being a lot of fun. Um, like champions that, that you're not exactly uh, thinking think it'll be fun. Champions that aren't normally the fun type, like sometimes support people. Support people by themselves aren't always fun for everybody because, you know, you're playing more of a supporting role. But when you have ten support champions all going against each other, it's actually a lot of fun between the constant heals, the debuffs, and the damage. I mean, if you play ten Sonas, I mean, that... That would be just a ridiculous game, and that game would take forever due to the fact that everybody can just auto-heal each other and then debuff each other, and then if you're able to time up your stuns correctly, if you work together with your team and you and you can kind of rapid-fire the stuns, um, you really can't be beat there. I mean, you've got five stuns that you can just rattle off back-to-back. -back. Um, but that's the kind of things you got to do. You've got to time your alts together. Uh, if you want to win it, it's all about teamwork and using your strengths um, together. So just like with the Lee Sin match, like I was telling you guys about, um, for those of you who don't know, his alt kicks people backwards. So what people would do is they would, you know, fly in with their kick, teleport behind, kick people back, and then teleport back to their people uh, using the the safeguard skill. So it's a lot of fun and it's teamwork and you're able to kind of single people out and do what you can um, if you get five malphites you guys can just constantly just rush in with your alt knock them up by the time they get fall back to the ground have another guy rush in knock them up um, and you, you're able to basically perma stun people if you are able to pull it off correctly now the problem with Teemo is his alt is just laying mushrooms on the ground and that is where the pain in the ass comes in because it, it's a it's invisible um, it, it's not an alt that you just use I mean, it just sits around and as you guys are gonna see in this match um, it gets to the point where the other team just has such a 
a base of shrooms everywhere because there's an unlimited amount you can put down. Um, but it gets to the point where they have such a base of shrooms laying around that it's just it's impossible to work your way forward. It's impossible to work up. So basically, whichever team pushes far enough forward to begin with, it has the greatest chance of of winning basically because it just becomes so difficult for the other team to push back towards their own turrets because they have to spend so much time uh, destroying the the shrooms or they're dying. I mean, it's one or the other. So that's one of the reasons why everybody hates Teemo. And I share this hate for Teemo. Uh, I think he is just a ridiculous champion. I know there's some people who love him, and he's really easy to pick up, but he just pisses me off. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I went over a lot of the stuff about this game mode, um, some of the champions. Uh, one of the champions I really wanted to use was uh, Rengar, but I haven't been able to get him yet. I feel like Rengar would be a lot of fun if you get, you know, five Rengars all flying around out of the bushes at each other and everybody going invisible at the same time. That that would be kind of fun. That or like a Twitch, another person who can go invisible. Anybody can go invisible where your whole team can kind of just disappear and just swarm around somebody. I think that would be a lot of fun. Uh, <clears throat> but like I said, I haven't been able to get them yet. And uh, this game, this gameplay here isn't, probably isn't really all that good. Um... I, I'm not good with Teemo, uh, and I don't really play this mode competitively. Like, I don't really worry about doing well. I just kind of rush in and just try and have fun and get as many kills as I can, which ends up leading to me dying a lot, but like I said, it's it's not competitive. It's not ranked, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, but yeah, so I hope it's enjoyable at least. That's that's really why I'm putting this up here, just to kind of give you guys a little bit of of some view from the the mirror mode because this is a lot of fun to watch when you get the right people um, I, I feel like Teemo is somebody that people are kind of want to see so uh, I, I brought you guys some Teemo here and now uh, I'm probably just gonna let this run um, probably shut up here for a little while so you guys can actually watch but uh, yeah let me know uh, what you guys think about this mode um, and who your favorite champion is Especially uh, if you guys have played any, you know, really fun mirror mode games, or you guys have played with a, a specific champion who you wouldn't expect, uh, but end up being a ton of fun. Please let me know. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, it. You know, like I said, this isn't going to be too informative. It's kind of just showing you guys a little bit of uh, just some gameplay, just showing you a little some mirror mode because this can be a fun mode to watch. Uh, so yeah, like the video if you enjoy it. Please subscribe to my channel, stay up to date with all of my future videos, uh, and you know, let me know what you guys are thinking down below, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode.
has been slain. Thank you. 